Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 14th of 2022, well, it is titled Satellites Behind Pinnacles. So what do we see here? Well, here we see in the foreground rock mounds known as pinnacles in Western Australia, which are something we really don't understand how they where they are formed. They are made by some kind of process involving ancient seashells. But the question as to why they stand up the way they do is still something scientists look to understand. Now what we're really looking at here afterwards above this is up in the sky and we see a number of different things. In fact, you can see a whole set of crisscrossing patterns there looking like a bunch of meteors. But these are not meteors. These are actually satellites in Earth orbit. And one of the difficulties that we have now is that there are so many satellites in Earth orbit that it starts to brighten up the sky and distracts from other, of course, astronomical images. So for astrophotographers trying to get nice pictures of things and for astronomers trying to study uh, deep space objects, it is very difficult, of course, when a satellite happens to streak across the sky. Now these are most intense in the uh, right after dusk and right before dawn. Uh, those are the times that the satellite trails are going to be the worst for us. Now we can label these and you may recognize some especially that most of these are part of the Starlink group of satellites which are essentially a constellation of communication satellites put out in space. But there's also a number of others there you can see a couple of others Titan and cosmos labeled as well. So but it's one really one of the difficulties with this when you have satellites that are also that are continuously being visible, it's going to like a meteor distract from the image that you're trying to take. And we're getting an idea of how many and as more and more Starlink satellites are put into space, it can be one of the difficulties as to how to track these and how to be able to remove these effects from the telescopic observations. So how to keep them from disrupting astronomical observations while still allowing for the communication satellites to be in orbit. The low low altitude satellites are especially troubling because of the bright streak such as what we see here. Now some things have been done especially with the Starlink group and some things with trying different coatings to reduce the brightness so that they're reflecting a lesser amount of light and therefore not being as bright and others are other options are still being considered to try to allow for of course to have the communication satellites up as well to allow for communications but also to allow astronomy to go forward. So certain things will be difficult. It will get brighter. It will be harder for some types of astronomy to go forward and have to plan around these times when the satellites happen to be vis visible. Again, right before dawn and right after dark are some of the worst times for this. So con continuing going forward is something that astronomers and the uh, scientists uh, and engineers working on the uh, satellites are working to try to improve. So that was our picture of the day for June the 14th of 2022. It was titled Satellites Beyond Pinnacles. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be the galaxy cluster next door. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.